Hello and happy Friday to our lovely nurses watching all around the globe. Welcome to AAC Global Recruitment's Employer Spotlight, where we feature one of our great employers. So, by the way, my name is Jeb. I'm the Marketing Specialist of AAC Global Recruitment, and I'll be your host for this informative session. So, for this episode of our Employer Spotlight, we are featuring one of the largest community healthcare organization in London. Yes, that is Central London Community Healthcare NHS Trust. So don't forget to like and share our webinar so we can reach a number of audience who needs to know more about the trust and, of course, ASC Global Recruitment. So for this afternoon, we have four amazing speakers. So let me introduce them to you. So first is not shown on the slide. We have Ms. Taya Dagting. She is the recruitment specialist of Cebu City here in AAC Global Recruitment. And of course, for the CLCH um, team, we have Ms. Zoe Rothwell. She is the international recruitment lead. And of course, the staff nurses, um, Mr. Mike Pascual and Ms. Josefa Villanueva. So you'll get to know them more a bit later during the whole webinar. So. Um, before we start our info session, uh, I would like to discuss the housekeeping. So listen attentively and take notes if you wish. Feel free to ask questions at any time in the comment section. Our team will be on hand to reply. So our speakers will hold a short live Q&A session at the end. And it may not be possible to answer everyone's question during the event, but we will provide the answers to your questions via email. So. All right, so let's start the webinar. So let me introduce to you our first speaker. So yes, we have Ms. Taya Dagting. Again, she is the recruitment specialist of AAC Global Recruitment uh, from uh, our Cebu branch. So she will be discussing the package offers, the new AAC ELT criteria, and what are the requirements that you need to submit for your application. So without further ado, let's welcome Ms. Taya. Hi, Hi Jeff. Good afternoon. Lord, Thank you so much. Lord. Okay. All right. So good afternoon to our lovely viewers, especially to all nurses out there. I hope you are all doing fine and safe. And welcome again to our grand career orientation. So sit back relax and listen carefully. I know you are all excited of what awaits you in this new episode. And yes, as you've heard, Central London Community Healthcare NHS Trust, one of our top employer, is coming to the Philippines this November. With that, we are currently looking for community nurses. And if you are a hospital nurse and would want to apply for community nursing in the UK, you may still send your application to our recruitment team and we'll have it assessed by our ASC nurse screener. So to start with your application, let me walk through the scores you need to achieve for your English language test and the ASC's new application criteria. So if you have taken IELTS and got a score of 6.5 for reading, listening, and speaking, then 6.0 for writing, you may now proceed with your application. And if you have taken OET and got a score of C plus or 300 for reading, listening, and speaking, then C or 250 for writing, you may now proceed with your application. Just please take note that you must still achieve the scores required by the NMC before you can be deployed to the UK. As soon as you receive your job offer, you will be given three months to retake your IELTS or OET to meet the minimum requirement of NMC. So if you apply with ASC, here's our amazing offer packages that ASC and the UK employer offer to you. You will, re you will receive a basic salary of 2 to 2.4 million per annum, and you don't need to worry about buying your, your own ticket or booking your own flight because ASC will do that for you. You will have a free international flight from Manila to the UK, a refund of 436 pounds, an equivalent of 30,800 pesos towards English language and NMC fees. And of course, CLCH offers you a free OSCE exam fees 
worth 55,000 or 793 pounds with no reclaim. Yes, you've heard it read. No reclaim. Yes, and of course, your accommodation will be sourced and paid by your employer for the first eight weeks. And yes, again, you've heard it right. It's now eight weeks, not four weeks, but eight weeks. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so also we have our free visa sponsorship with regular deployments. And we also have free CBT review and OSCE th training through our partner learning center, the amazing ATS. To avail all these offer packages, you may start your application and send these documents to our recruitment team. Updated CV or resume, passport, professional registration license, English language test, either IELTS or OET, DMW PEOS or pay a certificate. And rest assured that there will be no fees to be collected from you. What are you waiting for? Scan the code and apply now. Remember that an ASC nurse is a happy nurse. Once again, this is Thea Dagting, your recruitment specialist of ASC Global Recruitment Cebu. Thank you. Thank you so much, Theo, with that energetic so discussion. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> All so, right. Thank you, Theo, for discussing the benefits and the requirements for our viewers. So, nurses, what are you waiting for? The apply now um, QR code is right in front of your screen and also provided by our experts in the comment section. So just a PSA for international nurses, we have our principal employer, Drake Maddox. You can send them a message via Facebook to inquire. So Taya, I'll see you later in our Q&A session. All right, thank you. Okay. So we are now at the exciting part of our program. I know you all have been waiting for for this. So um, let me introduce to you all of the amazing... Oh, I mean, let me introduce to you the amazing team of Central London Community Healthcare NHS Trust. So we have Miss Zoe Rotwell. She is the International Recruitment Lead. Mr. Mike Pasquale, the staff nurse. And of course, Miss Josefa Villanueva. So may I call them on stage? Are they ready? Yes, they are. Hi, Miss Zoe. Hi, thank you. So I think Mr. Mike is out there. Is Mr. Mike having technical difficulties out there? Yes. There he is. Okay, so I'll leave the, the floor to you all and I'll see you later. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Zoe Rothwell. I am the International Recruitment Lead for Central London Community Healthcare NHS Trust. And I'm here to just give you a bit of an overview of the trust and what we can offer. So um, as you can see, before we move on to the next slide, is that we have been awarded um, earlier this year, the Pastoral Care Quality Award. And this is provided by NHS England to all, London, uh, all trusts in the UK, um, if they've got quality pastoral care for their international nurses and midwives. Have the next slide, please. So about CLCH, so as you've already heard, we are the largest community trust um, in the UK. Um, and we've our vision is to provide great care closer to home. So there's a massive drive in the UK to provide healthcare in the patient's own environment. So trying to reduce the amount of acute admissions, so hospital admissions, and providing quality care into patients' homes. So our mission as a trust is working together to give children a better start and adults a greater independence. So the key here is the independence. So for our adult community um, staff nurses is what we'll be recruiting for. And um, it's making sure that we're supporting our patients in their own environment to maintain that independence. We're very fortunate in the UK to have an elderly population, but with that comes a lot more um, chronic diseases. So we're there to support, educate um, and maintain their health. 
So we have core values. So our core values are putting quality at the heart of everything we do. Um, delivery. So we deliver services that we're proud of. Relationships. So we have we value um, our relationship with others and communities to make a positive difference in our community. Next slide, please. So I did say we were a large trust. Um, so this is just an overview. I don't know of those on the webinar today, if you're familiar with the UK um, or London itself, but um, this is just a visual of the geographical area that we cover as a trust. Next slide, please. So we actually cover 11 of the London trusts, uh, Lo sorry, 11 of the London boroughs, and we also cover West Hertfordshire, which is just on the borders of London, um, but is a more rural, um, slower pace than the metropolitan London. We also, um, within those 11 boroughs and Hertfordshire, we have over 650 sites. So there is a huge area that we cover um, and obviously lots of opportunities to work in different environments and different areas. So not necessarily having to work in London. Um, there are other areas for you to choose from. Next slide, please. So the services we deliver. So um, obviously for the, the webinar and for when we come to the Philippines in November, we're looking for community nurses. Um, we're also looking for those who are interested in school nursing or health visiting, but we provide a range of services. So we cater um, for our AHP colleagues. So we have our podiatrists, occupational therapy, physiotherapy and speech and language therapists. We also have lots of specialist nurses and services within the trust. So lots of opportunities for career development and um, going down a specialist pathway. So there's lots of um, opportunities. Next slide, please. This is a bit um, busy slide. It's just giving you a bit of an overview of CLCH in numbers, um, but we cater to a huge population of patients. Um, and you can see there the sheer amount. So 2 million, we've um, done over a million visits. So it's, it's very busy service that we provide. Um, it's interesting, um, as the team will tell you, there's never, um, never a day is the same, um, which is why I love the community. And myself, I am a community nurse by background. Um, so I've been where um, you will hopefully eventually be within the trust. So next slide, please. Again, this is just more numbers. It's just giving you an indication. So we do have a very diverse um, workforce with us. Um, we um, would encourage that. We support international recruitment. We've had a lot of international recruits come to the trust and develop and thrive. So there's lots of opportunities to stay, not for the short term, but for the long term. Next slide, please. We also care about our staff. So we provide a lot of different staff networks to be able to access um, for our staff. So we've got just some examples here for you. So the Rainbow Network um, so has been set up to support our, our LB LGBT community, um, so supporting and raising awareness. Uh, we also have a race equalities network. So this allows people to have a voice and a platform um, for our staff from minority ethnic communities and also disability and wellness network. So this aims to create an organization which promotes equality and is free from discrimination and harassment. So, these are really passionate for us. Um, we're trying to make the best environment for our employees. Next slide, please. We also have an academy at CLCH. So um, staff development and progression is really key. 
Um, so we support our staff with clinical and non-clinical training um, and we provide a lot of that in-house so that's free for you to access. Um, we also can support our nurses and our AHPs to go on to do academic studies um, which we can support and co-fund so there's further education. There's a lot of managerial and leadership courses we promote and um, have a network of staff to help support people going up from band five to band six to the managerial levels. We have career pathway clinics, so we have staff for you to have come have conversations about where and where you go and your options and what opportunities are available for you. And we also um, have a research department as well. So there's lots of different um, areas you can be exposed to at CLCH. So that was enough of me speaking. So I'm going to hand over to my lovely colleagues. So, Josepha. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. So my name is Josefa Galen Villanueva. I'm a Band 5 community nurse here in London under um, the CLCH Trust. So um, I've been working as a community nurse for um, one year and three months here. So let's start um, from the recruitment process. So it's just three months. And then um, my recruitment process was finished and I already um, what they called fly here in the UK. So I had my flight details and everything arranged for me by ASC. So from when I arrived here in the UK, I, I had everything, the airport pickup arranged by, um, of course, the agency. And um, with when it comes in terms of OSCA support, what's good about CLCH is we have our own uh, academy, which you could um, experience hands-on, face-to-face, um, face-to-face trainings, and um, you can do this. Um, what you call this one? You can do this. You can do this. Sorry, guys, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> you can do this. Um, trainings to these dummies yeah you can practice all this uh so you can practice everything with the dummies so you don't need to worry about and almost all of the all of the um trainers there are filipinos so i have a good experience with the oscar support and i'm working as a community nurse i am a worker so i don't drive so what's good about here in london the transportation here is uh 24 7 everything is accessible and they give you um local patients which you could just visit um by walking you don't need um i mean it's everything is accessible um, even you don't drive you can get just easily um access your patients so when i came here um community nursing in the philippines is very different from community nursing in the uk so i had to undergo training several trainings which was um hosted by the by the academy so um some of the some of the um skills that or the the visits that we do to our patients are insulin care we do wound care stomach care or catheter care we we also support um this end of life patients or we call it palliative care and some of the medications that we do um we do simple eye drops and um, subgut injections and peg medications um when it comes to the training progress or um the managers here are very supportive they're going to support you all the way everything is um um everything is given and supported so that's all thank you thank you and mike over to you hello um good morning uk and good afternoon philippines so um my name is mike luigi pasqual and i am a uh, one of the uh, international nurses uh, working here in the UK under CLCH or Central London Community Healthcare. So just to give you an overview um, on my journey um, to become a UKRN. So uh, it all started uh, when my uh, friend and wife uh, encouraged me to work here. 
So I don't have uh, any plans by th by that time to work here in the UK. But yeah, they pushed me to um, um, to go um, pursue this career. And um, so I took the exams, OET and CBT. And then, well, thank God I passed both of the those exams. And um, uh, out of joy, I oh, um, I was so overcome with the uh, emotions. So I posted it on my Facebook account. So that's uh, by that time uh, I received a message from ASC Global um, Recruitment Specialist. So they offered me uh, this job. Actually, um, they offered me uh, two trusts, um, but I chose the CLCH to be my um, uh, employer. And um, so for the um, agency support from the Philippines, uh, I, it's very, uh, uh, for me, I can say that it's very, uh, the support from the agency is exceptional from the beginning of the process uh, up until now. So um, there are times that um, they're still uh, trying to reach out and trying to communicate to us, um, asking, asking um, how are we go, um, I mean, how are we now? And and yeah, we keep on updating them on our situation here. So uh, with regards to the pastoral support from the CLCH Trust, so um, they are arranging some uh, tours in um, along the city. So for all the um, tourist attractions here. So um, uh, we enjoyed that uh, that day. Yeah, it was. I think our third day here in the UK when we did that um, short tour um, inside uh, uh, most of the places here are in Westminster so you can see the um, Big Ben the Westminster Abbey yeah yeah that's so nice. we had fun yeah that day and then um, for the um, support for the uh, preparation for the OSCE so CLCH, as uh, mentioned by Josefa, um, mm -hmm. has this uh, academy. So all the yeah. trainers there are um, Filipinos. So Filipinos, yes. yeah, Filipina, yeah. And um, so uh, you will gain more confidence when you're um, doing your practice and your trainings, and um, the support for you will feel the support from uh, the trust itself. And also from your uh, managers down to your colleagues. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, there's a lot of opportunity as well. Um, if you going to work here in CLCH, um, some of um, most of the uh, local nurses there in the Philippines, uh, when you say um, it's uh, community nurses or community nursing, um, some of them might think that it's just um, like um, doing house to house uh, visits to your patients but um here in the uh, clch under clch i am working in the hospital so um it's a bedded uh, um facility so it's a community hospital so if you want to still work or uh, practice your um, clinical skills you can still um, do that if you want to do um or to have your placement in a bedded uh, um, facility so it's not just um, doing house to house uh, visits or working in uh, like uh, Josefa. So you could uh, uh, also do some bank shifts. We call it bank shifts. So it's yeah. like, um, mm -hmm. yeah, you can earn additional in income additional. by doing, uh, yes, if you want to um, earn um, more from your, out from your um, basic salary. So they're offering some bank shifts, uh, especially here in the academy, if you want to, uh, like, if you're in, uh, into uh, teaching or mm -hmm. supporting your fellow uh, colleagues, Filipino or other um, uh, nurses from other countries. So you can share your knowledge as well. So um, I would like to thank um, everyone for giving us this opportunity to share our um, short story of our uh, UK journey. And thank you, Zoe, for um, having us here.
Um, Zoe, sorry, can I just add up a bit? Sorry, because I was a bit distracted a while ago. <clears throat> I'm in the office because <clears throat> I'm about to start my home visits um, later. But you know what, guys? Um, CLCH is very supportive when it comes to career progressions. From band 5, you can go um, all the way up to band 6, to band 7. They're going to support you all the way. It depends on which... Um, which are you into if you are into teaching yeah that's what uh that's like what mike said if you are into teaching if you are into tissue viability nurse tissue viability or anything they could support you in that um and as well as um i do usually do banks as well in the academy so we know that um you can get uh, extra extra money from that and um we were um we also work 7 to 4.30, so we are 8, I mean, we start 8 o'clock and we end 4.30 in the afternoon. So we start our visits 8, then we'll finish around um, 12 to 1 p.m. Then we go back to the office, do your um, handover and documentations. What's good about um, being a community nurse, you work by your, by your uh, I mean, alone, you're a lone worker. So if you maybe you were um, thinking about your safety, um, I can say that this place is safe and as well as the trust has been, I'm going to show it to you, has issued as this <laughs> sky guard. So when when this when you're using the sky guard, everywhere you go, you you are being tracked by the um, through this. So if there's an um, emergency situations you could just press this one and they they will um come to you immediately they will help you so um what else do i want there's a lot of things <laughs> i want to share to you because this journey has been i never expected this one because when i passed my my english examination the day after that i applied with asc and the day after that, I had my final interview. And just for three months, I flew to I flew in the UK. And yeah, and I have a family in the Philippines. So I have a son. I'm going to share it to you everything. I have a son. I have a husband. And um, the, trust, the, the trust has been very supportive because um, CLCH has been giving us or the NHS has been given us, giving us this... Um, annual leave which you can use you can use if you want to go home to you if you want to go home you want to visit your family they, they are being super supportive when it when it comes to that one you can have a month or three weeks and being with your family um so that's all thank you thank you both so much for coming and sharing um, your valuable insight because i think it's always very difficult to um, know until you're here and, and living and working it, what it's actually like. So thank you for sharing. All right, thank you. So that was an important discussion from Ms. Zoe. And of course, I hope you all got inspired by Miss Josefa and Mike's story. So I'm impressed with the Sky Guard, actually. It's like an Apple Air tag. <laughs> it's interesting. So thank you so much to our lovely speakers from CLCH. I hope they convinced you in choosing CLCH as your next employer in the UK. So we know that you have a lot of questions in mind right now. So we'll proceed to our Q&A portion. And this is your chance to ask anything you want to know. So can I call on Miss Teo back on screen? For the q and a session there hi, hi everyone all right so um oops uh are you all guys ready for the q a yes. yes okay so may i have the first question please Okay, so this is from JBC Nobs. So his question, I don't know, is his or her pronouns, but is there any chance in the future to bring with you your family when we get there? Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Um, 
we we encourage you to initially obviously come to the UK um, independently and that's to allow yourself time to settle and get yourself um, established, make sure that you've got everything that you need to be able to support your family as well. But yes, definitely there's always room and we will help by writing a support letter for the home office as well. So yes, definitely you can always bring family. That's nice. And I think for answering that question. Uh, can we have another one? We'll try to accommodate at least four more questions or three more. So this is from Lucy Gonzalez Reyes and her question is, what is the age limit? So Thea? Um, there is no age limit. As long as you meet our criteria, you are welcome to apply. All right. Thank you so much. So Miss Lucy, just in case, there's the apply now link button in our comment section. <laughs> so next question, please. Okay, this is from Vernell Joy. This is for you, Ms. Zoe. So, hi, Ms. Zoe. I'm a rural community from Palawan. So, would CLCH allow their new nurses to choose the site to work? Can someone talk about Hertfordshire? Thank you. <laughs> so, um, we can't let you choose um, because it always depends on what vacancies are available within the trust at the point of that you're ready for deployment. But if you do have friends, family um, already in the UK, in London, and possibly even within CLCH, we will try to accommodate you as best we can um, because obviously we want to make sure that you are as comfortable and you have a social support network around you as much as possible so <clears throat> sorry we will try and accommodate as best we can um and Hertfordshire I can talk about Hertfordshire so I actually live in Hertfordshire um so I I I'm very um biased I love it as a as a place to live in the UK it's very rural green lots of forests and fields and things like that. So if you like a slower pace, um, then it's very accessible to get straight into London. Um, so my work base is in London, so I commute. Um, so I think that I think that's sometimes misunderstood. So when you work in London, you don't have to live in London. Um, so there's lots of options um, to, li to live just outside of London um, and be in a lot greener area. Although London is a fantastic city, um, as my colleagues have already described to you, there's lots to see and do in London, but it's only a train away. So there's, there's never, we've got great public transport. So there's not, not any issues, but in Hertfordshire, um, we've got the same services that we have in London, so um, it is. So we there are areas where you would be more beneficial to drive. We do have um, support packages that we can offer to help people to learn to drive, um, to, to towards tests. Um, some of the areas have pool cars which are accessible. Obviously, we're part of the NHS and there's car lease schemes. So there's lots of benefits and things around there. And you don't have to use a car. You can use a bicycle. I've even got one international recruit who uses her skateboard to get around everywhere in Hertfordshire. So she's known as the nurse on the board. Um, so there, there's lots of different ways of getting around the UK. All right. Thank you so much, Zoe. So can we have at least two more questions before we wrap up? So this is from Angel Bulanan. So what's the patient ratio for community nurses? So there isn't a particular number. There's no magic number I can give you. Um, so it always depends on... Um, the staffing and the skill mix within there. So you could have um, some very simple visits, I would say. So you can have some visits that are very short um, and you can have very complex patients that might take a lot longer. So if you've got 
um, a lot of complex patients, you obviously see a, a smaller amount of patients. And then if you've got quite simplistic visits, then obviously you will see more patients. So we try to be fair when we're delegating. So it's all about um, the competency of the nurse. Um, we always think about a geographic. So obviously we want to reduce the amount of travel time that people are doing. So trying to keep people um, seeing patients within a particular area or a particular patch. Um, so I can't give you a magic number, I'm afraid. All right. I hope um, Ms. Zoe answered your question, Angel. Thank you. So on to our last one. So is it required to have a community experience for a nurse to work in the community setting? I think this is for our recruitment team, Thea. Okay, thank you, Jav. So our UK employer would require to have at least six months post-registration experience, preferably in hospital. A community nursing background is an advantage. Thank you. How about you, Ms. Zoe? Do you have anything to add to this question? Are you good? I, I think they nailed it, really. It's, you know, nursing is nursing. The foundations of nursing, wherever you are in the world, are the same. You know, the patients are our priority. Um, the difference is, obviously, the... Um, the type of patient mix that you sometimes experience, the type of equipment that you have access to. Um, we're fortunate, with, we have um, a good amount of resources as well um, and a lot of training. So there's a lot of more um, complex care delivered in a community setting um, because we're able to do that. But there's lots of education and support provided um, for anyone who has you know, have that drive and determination to become a community nurse, and um, we will support that. All right. Thank you so much for the answer, Ms. Zoe. Okay, let's wrap up our question and answer uh, portion. Thank you so much, Ms. Zoe and Ms. Thea, for answering these wonderful questions. To our viewers, don't worry, we'll send out an email regarding the, unans the unanswered questions in the comment section. All right, again, to Ms. Zoe, Mike, and Osefa, thank you so much for having the time to be one of our speakers for this info session. On behalf of the AUC team, you are all appreciated. And of course, to our resident recruiter, Thea, thank you so much for the thorough discussion of AUC's process and requirements. So thank for you. our audience, thank we're you, still not, you're welcome. <laughs> so for our audience, we're still not done yet. Please stay tuned until the end of the live for an announcement. So. Uh, Ms. Zoe and Taya, I'll see you in our next info session. Bye. Yes. Bye. So, okay, to our audience who are still here, please don't leave because I have an announcement. Uh, but before anything else about the English language sponsorship, I just want to promote that our Cebu team will be having a job fair tomorrow, October 15, at, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Insular Square Mall Tabok. Mandawi City Cebu. So we've already posted a publicity material about that. You can check it out on our Facebook and LinkedIn page. All right. So for our English language sponsorship, so this is this offer is open to any candidates who has not yet met the NNC criteria. So these are open for first takers and retakers. So each month, one lucky winner will be entitled to a free IELTS or OEP exam where 12,350 up to 21,600 courtesy of our principal employer, Drake Maddox. Plus a free IELTS and OEP unlimited review package worth 4,000 pesos courtesy of 9.09ers. So the winner will be announced every first, uh, first, first career orientation of the month. So stay tuned next webinar. So here is the criteria to qualify. So you must attend one of our career orientations and take note of the attendance code provided below. So today's attendance code is CO1013. Yes, that's CO October 1013 with you, right? <laughs> so you must also have a minimum of six months post registration experience and must apply to AC and give the code. So. Our apply now link again is in the comment section below or it's all over our, our social media account. So you can check it out there. So next one, please. 
So here are the reasons why you should choose ASC. So we have 13 years of international recruitment experience. We are a specialist in NMC, HCPC, UKVI, and POEA processes. And of course, we are ISO 9000, 9001 to 2015 certified, and we are a ethical, caring, and professional team. So I hope this convinced you to choose AC as your next um, recruitment agency bound to the UK. Next slide, please. So yes, we successfully deployed more Filipino healthcare professionals to the UK than any other agency in 2021. That's the POEA report. So we are the most trusted recruitment agency in the UK. All right. So let's connect. You can follow us on our social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Messenger, and also we have TikTok and YouTube. That's AAC Global Recruitment. So to our nurses who want to have their questions answered or do they have any inquiries, please feel free to message us on our Facebook page. So here is our apply now QR code again. So you can scan this one or take a screenshot on your screens, whichever suits you the best. So we'll watch out for your application. All right. So of course we have our, um, you can visit us at our Manila and Cebu office. So our Manila office is located at the 18th floor Trident Tower, 312 Senator Hill Puyat Avenue, Makati City. And our um, telephone number is provided down below. Then for Cebu, we have Unit 113, Crisio Building, Gonzalez Compound, Gerardo Avenue, Cebu City. So again, the contact number is right there. So you can take a screenshot of it or you can send us a message on our Facebook page if you want to inquire or if you want to have a walk-in application, our recruiters will be on hand to reply. So again... Thank you so much to our um, guest speakers, to our audience for this afternoon. Um, I hope you all learned a lot from this info session. And again, AC will be holding a in-person employer interview this November 2023 in Makati and Cebu City. So thank you so much for staying, uh, staying with us throughout the whole session. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.